Hey everybody! Joy here. It is the day before Jerry's birthday. Finally! <laughs> Finally! I told him, I said, everybody wants to see you open your presents. I don't know why, but... So you're going to have to behave tomorrow and be on my video. <laughs> So anyway, I wanted to show you what I did yesterday in case some of you have noticed and you've just been too nice to tell me. I know one lady uh, told me and I noticed it myself last time I hung this up. But do y'all remember how in this block right here I had the watermelon behind the pitcher. The watermelon is supposed to be in front of the pitcher. Well, I decided yesterday I was going to fix that. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you two, two things to remember in your life. Invisible thread is invisible. <laughs> and when I sew something down, it intends to stay sewn down for the rest of eternity. <laughs> I tell you... I had on my contacts, I had on two pair of these, I had the lights that are shining on me, I had them way up here shining right here on this, and I had my iron right here on my ladder, and I had my seam ripper, and I had tweezers and pliers, and I kept, once I got all of the thread picked out, I had to heat it up to loosen the steam and seam that was on the back of it. Remember, these things all have steam and seam on the back of them. In fact, I added a sitar, put it on there, so it was probably heat and bond. So this was ironed down with heat and bond. This was hired down with heat and bond. Then they were all sewn on my sewing machine. Then they were all quilted on my long arm. And I'm telling you, there was enough thread here to hold an elephant to a tree. <laughs> Did you ever see Jeannie Robertson's Hold an elephant to a tree video. If you haven't, look up Jeannie Robertson. She died a few months back last year. It's just shocking, shocking, shocking. She was perfectly fine, just like me, talking to you every day on Saturday in her room, talking, 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 and she had all kinds of meetings scheduled, and all of a sudden, she just died. It was shocking. But anyway, she's a comedian, a Christian comedian. Well, I don't know if she's Christian, um, but a um, clean, clean comedian. And her name's Jean. It's spelled Jean, but she calls herself Jeannie Robertson. And if you can find the clip that says, um, hold an elephant to a tree or fasten an elephant to a tree or something like that, be sure and watch it. It's absolutely hilarious. So anyway, I worked on this for an hour, an hour and a half yesterday. I stood right here like this. with my two pair of glasses on top of my contact lens and the light shining right here. So I have got the watermelon forward now and the picture, but there's just a straight line right here. So I'm not going to fix that. I put some steam, I put some uh, fray check here on the raw edges to hold it. So when I take this down for the season, I will take this in there on my long arm and I will re-sew that little area. What is it, one inch? An inch and a half. <laughs> so aren't you proud of me? <laughs> I'm proud of me. I'll guarantee you that was a hard job. So this morning, what am I doing now? Number one, I'm coming by to say hello to you. I'm working on the pumpkins. I'm going to go show you how I figured out how to do the pumpkins for my brain. And I did not make this shirt. I remade this shirt. <laughs> You can look at this and see why I sew for myself. Number one, I keep pulling it forward. Number two, it needs a humongous bust dart. The sleeves are too big. I cut six inches off the bottom. I cut two inches off the sleeves. So why did I buy this shirt? I'm going to turn around and show you. You probably already saw it, but look. We have discovered Bucky's. Remember, didn't I tell you a while back we discovered Bucky's in Texas? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Jerry and I make it our stop off on the way down to the RV place, there and back. It's in Denton. So it's not halfway. It's a little more than halfway. But we always pull off and go in there. And we just love to walk around. It's our exercise, see? <laughs> 
So um, we walk around and walk around and I buy orange cranberry walnut muffins and we buy some kind of a barbecue brisket sandwich and a little bag. They're potato chips. Oh, they aren't in a bag. They make them. And it's like they use real potatoes. And they like slice them real thin and then they fry them or do whatever they do to them themselves. Oh, they are so good. And so we always have our Bucky's trip. Well, one day I was in there. And usually I never, 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 never buy shirts because, in fact, Becky said to me one time years ago when we first met, she said, why don't you make a memory quilt with your t-shirts? I said, because I don't have any t-shirts. She said, oh, for heaven's sakes, I'm sure you have some t-shirts. I said, no, I don't have any t-shirts. <laughs> well, now I have one. <laughs> so I can make a memory quilt with this. <laughs> so... The reason I don't buy them is they never, ever, ever fit me. I like a V-neck. They always, I guess you can get them in a V-neck. Becky has some uh, in a V-neck for her power tools with thread. But I've, I've never seen a V-neck in Bucky's, I don't think. If I did, I'd buy it. So anyway, if you're one that doesn't buy them because they're too long, cut them off. If you don't buy them because the sleeves are too long, cut them off. <laughs> it's certainly good enough to wear in your sewing room, isn't it? So I'm going to take you into my sewing room and show you what I'm doing to put the pumpkin quilt together. I already made you a video of that in the RV, but I told you it was like four or five, six different clips, and it came out to be 19 minutes, and I had to make it under 15, and by the time I chopped off everything I could think of to chop off, and I put it back together, <laughs> it didn't make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> So, I'm going to just try to show you uh, how I figured this out, okay? So, let me move the camera into there, and I'll be back in a microsecond for y'all. You can see over there that Lucy is still wearing the front of the bicycle shirt. You can see over here that the table I was making the bicycle shirt on is now covered with pumpkin paraphernalia and some other items because... I had to clean this table off to arrange my pumpkins. You see how I arranged my pumpkins? So let me put this up and I'll kind of explain what I did and then I'll come back and show you in detail. So in case there's some of you that don't know about the pumpkin quilt, I bought this book last week, week before at Barnes and Noble in Louisville, Texas when we were at the RV place. It's called Quick and Easy Quilts. And the quilt on the cover caught my eye. I thought it was cute. I'm not going to make it the same way as the cover. But still, I thought, oh, that's a cute fall quilt. So what I do is I cut out the pages in the magazine. And I'll make a file for it. I'm not going to leave it in the magazine or I'll never find it again. I'll probably throw the magazine away. So I cut the pages out. But then I have to write on the pages. I have to make notes, I have to write things down, I read the directions and they always confuse me to no end. So I make copies of the pages. I couldn't make them in color because we didn't have color ink in the printer. So I made a copy of each of these pages so I could write all over them. Then I found the directions to be very confusing. They're really not, but it's just not the way my brain works. What she did was she said, take a whole bunch of different colors of orange and cut out this size, this size, this size, this size. Take some greens, cut out this size, this size. I like to make one block at a time. And I didn't just want to cut out a whole bunch of oranges and stack them to the ceiling. I wanted to cut out the orange for one pumpkin. I wanted to cut out the green for one pumpkin. I wanted to cut out the heart for one pumpkin. So this is how I did it. Nobody else on the whole planet probably does it this way, but this is how I did it to keep myself organized. I love these index cards. I buy them at Walmart all the time. I have thousands of them. I love them. I love them all different colors. I love them plain on both sides. I love these, what are they, three by fives? I'll just measure it and tell you. They come little, they come big. These are four by six, four by six. So what I did was I made up my own set of instructions, and I'll show you how I did it. 
she has each piece that you cut she's given them a letter okay so there's A and there's B and there's B and there's C and there's D and there's F and there's O and there's A and B and C and E and G and N and there's H and H and you can see that some of these letters repeat on my cards so if it has a letter that means it's a certain size the letter refers to the size however I wanted it separated by how many and what do I cut out of orange and so I just happened to pick an orange card but even if it wasn't I wrote pumpkins on the top then I wanted to do just the leaf I wanted to know well which one of those makes the leaf and which one of those makes the stem so I put that on a separate card this is the background and so I wrote down all the different sizes now you can see I needed 96 there I needed 32 there I needed 64 there I needed 32 there but they're all cream and so that kept that understandable to me <laughs> and sorted out for me and then here's the heart there's a heart in the middle of every pumpkin and so and the, the hearts have an H so that's handy <laughs> okay so this is just what I did and it helped me very very much so let me take this off of the um, tripod let me show you my little stacks now there's 16 pumpkins here's the first one I made because I wanted to see uh oh did something just fly away I wanted to see what does it look like and what's an A and what's a B and what's a C and what's an H okay so I made one complete block there's a total of 16 blocks on this pumpkin quilt I had one all done so I had to cut 15 more now when I started out in the coach I only had eight colors of the oranges and the golds well when I brought it back home I separated all the duplicates and I made individual colors for every single pumpkin and you have to make a half square triangle now this is one thing that was very 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 confusing to me and let me show you why here it is where you start and it says referring to quick pieced triangle squares in so easy lessons where the heck is that where is so easy lessons I have no idea where so easy lessons is <laughs> so I finally figured out that what she wanted you to do was put two squares together draw a line diagonally and then sew on each side of the diagonal line and then you end up with two of these see so that's part of the leaf so I have these all set up so what I can do is I can just like say today I've only got time to make one pumpkin so I'll grab this one and make it or today I have time to make three pumpkins so I'll make three pumpkins but I don't have to go through a gigantic stack of oranges and greens and all that stuff and figure out what goes with what so here's my background colors and they're all separated for each pumpkin okay so somebody said we want to say hi and I got quilt so I'm showing you now the quilt on the cover has all these hearts in between I'm not making those I don't really see the need for those this isn't a heart quilt it's a pumpkin quilt so I'm gonna put a heart inside each pumpkin and I'm gonna make this one big heart but I'm not gonna put all those other little hearts okay so mine's not gonna have those so you can see I've got that table cleaned off and there's nothing on it but the pumpkin quilt all right my friends it's lunchtime here I gotta go find Burnside's and see what we're gonna do for lunch today but I wanted to show you this and of course when I get it done of course of course who can stop me I'll show you my pumpkin quilt all done how about that you know what we're gonna see tomorrow uh, it's Jerry's birthday <laughs> I am gonna try to set up the camera so everybody can get a good view of what's going on but best what is that thing best best made best laid plans of mice and men Tell me what that really is, because I'm sure I got it wrong. <laughs> I learned a long time ago, I told you a while back, have a plan B, and it wouldn't hurt to have a plan C and D. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to do was 
sing happy birthday. And I thought, well, I can't sing happy birthday in front of the whole wide world, dear Lord. Um, but I thought maybe I could find a, uh, a song I could play on my cell phone that was a happy birthday song. So I'm going to try to do that. Anyway, I'm real excited. I'm more excited about his birthday than he is. He couldn't care less. It's just another day, Joy. It's just another day. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> He's never had a day like tomorrow's going to be, has he? i got to let you go for now. Bye.